all the amazing light, the solar activity that we're experiencing is bringing forward a whole host of wild ascension symptoms. In this ascension symptom energy update, I'm going to dive into some of those, what you may be experiencing, and I want to hear from you as well, what you're experiencing, what you can do to really get centered and allow this process to flow more gracefully and smoothly for you, and some magical things that might be arising out of this upgrade this magical energy that we've been receiving recently. So I want to start out by asking you a question. What types of symptoms are you experiencing? I'd love it if you would drop a comment below. So, so much happening right now. This light we're receiving just seems to intensify. The world starts just seems to start moving faster and faster. And that is a reflection of your energy moving through your body. As we rise in frequency, we start to vibrate our atoms and molecules, everything starts to move faster and faster and faster. We start to feel a little bit lighter because we're integrating a lot of the light. But in order for that process to unfold, we need to shed or heal or release the dense energy that's been anchoring us in a three-dimensional field. Now we're moving up through a fourth dimensional field. So we're starting to experience a lot of the dense emotions are coming up to be seen, to be felt. And that creates a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, those types of emotions. And that brings forward a whole host of symptoms because a lot of this energy has been held in the lower chakras, the dense energy. So the chakras in, in you know the lower part of the body have been really, we could consider it out of balance or offline, right? Because that's what it feels like. So as these start to fire up and start to get in sync and start to rebalance, it's going to shed a lot of the density that's been anchoring them down and keeping them rotating at a very slow pace. So things are speeding up, but you're going to start to feel lower chakra pains, right? Pains in your back, pains in your, maybe your digestive system, maybe you're getting reflux, things like that. Aches and pains in your legs, in your knees, in your feet. I've been experiencing a lot of those. That is just all a function of the acceleration of this energy. It's starting to carry everything that's been stuck starting to move it along and it's starting to move up the central channel. So that brings me to my next symptom. You may be experiencing feelings of ungroundedness, expansion in your field. Maybe you're feeling like you're walking in multiple different timelines, or maybe even your day-to-day -day experience feels very dreamlike. That's a function of this fourth dimensional field. Your field is coming in, your energy field, is, as consciousness lands in your body and it's moving through and the lower chakras start to clear, the energy starts to move up your channel and starts to get into the higher chakras. So they start to come online more and they start to feel, you feel more etheric. Your reality starts to feel more etheric. You may see some of the clairs, some of your psychic gifts start to come online as well. And that's because the energy that is now rising up to here, to the higher, you know, third eye and the crown chakra, your throat chakra, right? The heart was previously stuck in the lower chakras, right? Now it's free and it's moving up. So the powerful light is giving us the opportunity for that to happen. Drop a yes in the comments, guys, if you've been experiencing that as well. So what do we do to navigate these symptoms? They seem to get more and more powerful, right? So how do we best navigate these? Well, as we expand and our field expands, we can easily rise up out of our body and become ungrounded. A lot of times you may think that that feels good, but in reality, what it's doing is it's separating you from your body. You're not anchored in your body, right? As your chakras start to balance and come online, you kind of float out into your, into your field, your energy field, and you're disconnected from the body. It means you're living out in the reality. That's why you start to experience things as like, dreamlike, or maybe the shifting of these timelines, maybe some deja vu, things like that. You may start to have some, some flashes of other realities start to come forward, right? We get ungrounded. We want to get anchored back into the body where we could really focus and assist our body in rising in frequency. And that is with conscious intent, right? We have to make the choice to focus it inward and not focus it outward. Otherwise, we tend to live out here and you're going to start to get fatigued, you're going to start to get tired, and you're going to start to experience more aches and pains if you allow yourself to expand up here, become ungrounded, and not get it back in. So we want to anchor it into the body. I'm going to show you a very simple breathing technique that anybody can do. You could do this anywhere throughout the day 
that's going to reconnect you with your body and restore that energy flow. Your higher self is landing. It is wanting to move through your body. It's showing you everything that's in the way you're experiencing these symptoms. These symptoms. So it's time to get back into the body, focus consciousness in here, and allow that higher frequency energy to land and to integrate, right? But we have to make a conscious choice to do that. If we're constantly ungrounded up here, we're ignoring the body. We're not assisting in that process. And the energy gets stuck again. So you'll experience more severe ascension symptoms if you're not anchored, not grounded in your body. Very simple breathing technique. You can place a hand on your heart, place a hand on your solar plexus, close your eyes, and take a deep breath into your belly, into your belly down here. So you're going to want to push your belly out when you breathe. Expand it. We want to get the air down into the solar plexus region. A few breaths like that, very simple. You don't want to breathe from up here, fight or flight. You want to breathe from the lower part of the lungs. Close your eyes. Deep breath in. Expand that and release. That's it. That will help get you out of your field and back into your body. There's no need to overthink this. There's no need to overcomplicate this. This is a very simple technique that when you start to feel separated and ungrounded and a little anxious, will get you right back in your body. The interesting thing too, that's going to immediately alleviate those ascension symptoms. So if you're feeling tight in your back and your legs, you're feeling achy, and you do that breath, you are going to instantly feel energy moving and those pains are going to dissolve. That's simply because you're back in your body. When we're not in our body, when we're up here, we allow this light to carry us out and separate us and unground us. That's when we feel all the pain. Get back into the body, get anchored, get grounded, and you will get instant relief from that pain. And another interesting thing could happen when you're breathing, when your eyes are closed, when you're focused, you kind of have a clean black blank slate, right? You don't have that visual stimuli, you're focused inward. You may start to get messages. You may start to perceive images from the higher dimensional fields, your star guides, your spirit guides, maybe even deceased relatives, your intuition, your higher self, things are going to start to come through. If you experience anything like that, when you're taking time to focus inward, jot it down, write it down, keep a journal of that so you can kind of track that along. As this energy lands, your clairs, like I said, your psychic abilities, your third eye, things are going to start to to light up. They're going to start to come online. And it's very subtle at first, but when you take the time to go inward and to breathe and connect with your body, you cut back all the external noise and you start to be able to perceive that subtle energy. These messages were always there. You just weren't able to perceive them. If you're ungrounded, you're too focused externally. There's too much noise. You just can't see it. But when you turn it inward and breathe, do this throughout your day, five breaths, reconnects you with your body. You're going to start to experience things rising up as the energy gets from the lower chakras up to the higher chakras. You become more in tune, more aligned, more centered, and more available and open to start to perceive these messages. For more on that, make sure you watch this video next. Thank you.